Hey guys, Alex Wollner here from Party Time DJ Services with yet another active speaker review. Please don't mind the ambient uh, background noise. It is hot here in Sudbury, Ontario. We're like at 30 degrees Celsius out here today, so the AC is running. It's been running for a while. Anyway, so it's time for another speaker review. We're looking at another value speaker because I'm I, I'm waiting for some new exciting uh, active speakers to come out that I can have my, get my hands on. Uh, a few models I'm waiting for, the Yorkville's YXL15P and also Yamaha DZR, any model. I'm, those are probably, pretty much the ones I'm excited to review in the next few months. Uh, but today we're looking at another value or budget PA DJ option, similar to the ION video I did a few weeks ago. Uh, but this one is a little bit more professional looking uh, and uh, the price is really good, somewhere around $300 or so Canadian. Uh, by a company called Monoprice. You might have uh, bought or seen their cables. They do sell a lot of electronics on Amazon or directly from Monoprice. Uh, this is the, and it's actually the stage right line. And uh, they have the power 10s, 12s, and 15s. I was curious about them because I seen another YouTuber do a review on the SRD215. So I checked my Amazon and there's actually one left in stock. And sometimes Amazon, when there's just one of something, especially a speaker left in stock, uh, the price will go down gradually if nobody buys it. That's actually how I ended up with my uh, RCF Art speakers a few years ago. Uh, I ended up buying one uh, Art 312A and one Art 315A. Uh, and both of them, instead of being the $900 uh, dollar price they usually are, I got them for like between three and 400 bucks. Because of this, they had one left of each. The price kept going down. So anyway, today we're looking at another... Uh, I ended up buying one of these speakers. Yes, I actually bought it. I don't know why, because I don't need more speakers. I just figured, you know what? If the price goes down low enough, this is a unit I can have, bring, just bring with me as a backup. And the fact that it has Bluetooth connectivity and the USB SD card compatibility is another plus. As a DJ sometimes when you're doing, um, you know, wedding ceremonies or something like that and you need a, just one speaker to grab and to play something directly or from Bluetooth, I think it's good to have. I don't actually have any Bluetooth compatible speakers. So I thought, you know what, bite the bullet, order it and uh, I can do a review on it. So that's what I did. So we're going to flip around here and have a quick look at this value budget uh, for you beginner DJs or bands are just starting out or even someone who just wants some loud music in the backyard. Let's have a look at mono prices. Stage right SRD 215. We'll flip you around. So there you go. Amongst my other uh, speakers, you can see the SRD215. Really a very good looking speaker. If it doesn't necessarily call attention to itself, it would fit just fine in a wedding setting in my opinion. There's no lights on it, so none of those uh, multicolored lights. Very good appearance. If you look at, uh, there's a top handle up there. And you also have side handles, so. It's already looking pretty good. I was actually surprised at the quality when I took it out of the box. It actually looks very nice and presentable. The other DJ that actually, where I saw this review, I think it's DJ Barr, his name. Uh, he, his video is much better quality than mine. And actually, unfortunately, uh, mine arrived with, uh, you can see a dent in there, right? Right in the actual front grill. And my power cord didn't work out of the box. I plugged it in and uh, intermittently would cut off and on, on and off. So I decided, you know what, I have so many power plugs, I just switched it out. It's not very long anyway, so I switched out the power plug. Not much I can do about that dent in the front, unfortunately. But it doesn't matter, it's just for backup and uh, for uh, for ceremony use here and there. It still looks fine. So yeah, so the SRD215 is a 15-inch woofer with a 1.75-inch compression driver. I was actually surprised at the size of the compression driver, because that's not something usually you'll see in a beginner speaker, such a big compression driver. Actually, even my DXR15s have a 1.4 inch. The new uh, MK2 version of these have a 1.75 inch compression driver, similarly to the QSCKs. Uh, so I was a little bit surprised. I actually took this unit apart to see inside. The woofer looks have decent. The woofer, the magnet size is decent. The compression driver looks pretty huge, so it might actually be a 1.75 inch compression driver in there. But let's flip it around, have a look at the inputs and outputs and the uh, just the back panel here. So it looks pretty familiar to, very similar to the ION. A lot of ins and outs. Uh, you do have your USB SD Bluetooth digital player. You can you know scan through your tracks. 
stuff like that. So I didn't actually try the USB or SD. I just plugged it directly to my telephone uh, by Bluetooth. Okay, it paired instantly, absolutely no problems. Uh, and uh, yeah, just played off Apple uh, Music pretty much. Got no connectivity issues. You do have uh, what is supposed to be some DSP presets. I'll get into those in a few minutes. Normal DJ voice, live, flat, power uh, indicator, single indicator, as well as the clip indicator. Do have two different channels. Channel one being a dual RCA, as well as combination quarter inch XLR with level control. Second channel, you do have the mix out for the core, the XLR, and you do have another co combination quarter inch XLR and uh, level. But you do actually have a line or mic setting. What this does, it'll apply a bit more gain to your mic so that you can get it loud enough to be heard. So there you go. Pretty flexible uh, input panel in the back. Your uh, traditional uh, AC power in and uh, power button. Everything looks good. Looks well built. It feels pretty well built as well, considering the price. The front grill is solid. Uh, obviously, the rest is pretty plasticky. That's to be expected at this price point. So, Al, how did it sound? Well, so far, I've pretty much praised uh, most things about this unit. And unfortunately, the sound is where uh, it kind of takes a, a tumble, unfortunately. Uh, because... I was talking about the uh, the DSP modes, or I'm not even sure I would, or DSP presets, I'm not sure why they even call them that. Normal DJ voice live and flat, they all sound exactly the same in the mids and highs. The only difference I hear is the amount of bass. Uh, voice and live, uh, sorry, voice and flat, or voice and live and flat have less bass, especially the voice has almost no bass, while the normal has a bit more and the DJ has a lot more. Even the flat has some bass. So basically it's just a variance of how much bass there is. And none of the bass is actually very low. Even in DJ, it's more of a thump. Especially for 15 inch. It does have some thump to it, but it seems to be like centered in the, the 70 hertz range. It doesn't go down much lower than 70, 60 hertz at, at the lowest. So yeah, so bass wise, you get some thump. But it just doesn't extend very deep. But, you know, that's nearly to be expected in this uh, this price point. The main problem is the compression driver. And I was hoping, having saying that you do have some DSP presets, there, there is some signal processing in there. I don't believe there is much. But the first thing I would have done is actually try to tame that big compression driver because it is loud. And unfortunately, it is loud and painful. That's, that's the, 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 the sad thing. There is a big bump. I'm going to say between 1.5k and 3k. I'm going to say that because I, I was lucky to have my PGM-8, my Yorkville PGM-8 mixer here. One thing I really like about this mixer is that you do have a 7-band EQ there that you can apply that actually applies whatever settings you have to every single channel. And you have on top of that the low, mid, and high frequencies, which you can fine-tune. They're set at, set at slightly different frequencies. Uh... So you can tailor every single channel, but that 7-band EQ is very practical, especially in situations where you have a speaker that has a very uh, rough freak overall frequency response. As, as, as I said, it's just very MIDI. I connected it to my Apple Music telephone the first time I got it out of the box, and I was like, well, it doesn't sound very good. It did get very loud, but it's there's just, as mentioned, some really big harshness in the 2k area uh, because that's as soon as i brought down that slider on the 2k is where it made the big difference so minus six to minus nine on the 2k and add a little bit of uh bass and the overall sound is really not terrible but the issue is that you do need a mixer with the graphic eq if you want to get the best sound out of this uh, the Ion that I tested a few weeks ago actually sounded significantly better out of the box. I actually had no issues with the sound of the Ion. Why I was so surprised by its uh, performance. And it, I, I did pick it up at Costco. I was able to return it. And I actually kept them back. But everything was immaculate. I didn't even open anything in the box. Uh, but this guy, unfortunately, that's where I think Stage Right or uh, Mono Price should have applied a little bit of DSP just to tame that big compression driver. Not everyone is going to notice. And in a band setting, if you're using it for live sound and you just want something loud, it might be fine. Uh, but there, it really is... It You do need 
that EQ to make it sound its best. If not, it's just... It does get extremely loud. Don't get me wrong, it gets loud. Almost as loud as my DXR15. Well, you know, loud and, loud and close enough compare if you compare the price. But uh, the sound quality of the DXR is much, is significantly better. Uh, especially with no EQ. With some EQ, I got the... Uh, I got the Sage Red sounding about 60 to 65 percent as good as the Yamaha. Maybe, a, but yeah, it, it. I mean, it is a budget speaker. A lot of features. I just wish that uh, Mono Price had applied some DSP in there to just to tame that compression driver, and maybe to add some some of that lower bass to the woofer. Uh, that deeper you was know, between 50 and 60 hertz, just to make it sound nice and fat. And that's one of the big difference if you compare a speaker like this to the Yamaha or the Yorkvilles I just tested. Uh, I'm actually hoping to get my hands on the YXL 15Ps from uh, Yorkville shortly and hopefully some uh, DZRs from Yamaha's, the Yamaha because that's, uh, those are two speakers that are two, one line from Yamaha I haven't tested and uh, one speaker from the Yorkville that I haven't tested yet. But uh, yeah, the difference is not only the sound quality, but the quality of the processing, the warranty, and just the actual electronics in there, inside the Yamaha and Yorkville stuff, and QSC and other better brands, the quality in there, because I opened up this the, the SRD215. Woof and compression driver look okay, but the actual electronics and amplifier in there, I think, are pretty quickly put together. But at this price point, that's pretty much what you're going to get across the board. So anyway, that was my review of the SRD from Mono, Mono Price, the stage right line. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, alpoulin at hotmail.com, A-L-P-O-U-L-I-N at hotmail.com. This has been a quick speaker review, hoping to do, as mentioned, the YXL15Ps shortly, or something from the Yamaha DZR series. Uh, but if I see anything else in exciting at my local Long and McQuaid, I'll be sure to take it home and uh, give it a spin and uh, give a quick review to you guys. Have a great day, guys. Enjoy a nice, a nice summer, and uh, I'll be back shortly. Have a good one, guys.